How long are you going to sit there crying? You can't be a fisherman if you're afraid of some lord of calamity. The demons that wrecked this town are still alive. Who knows when they'll show up again? How about right now? Sniveling idiot! Keep whining like that, and this calamity whatever will keep walking all over you! But what can we do? We can't even defeat a single demon. That's why we take our boats, catch some fish, and make sure we've got enough food to keep on surviving. Didn't they drill anything into that fool head of yours in school? Ugh. Do I have to knock some sense into you? Get up and get the boat ready. That is one hot-headed dad. Too hot for any demons to get near. That's for sure. Welcome back! I take it you defeated the Legates. Yes, but that still leaves Enominot and the Shepherd. Onward ho to the last battle! Oh, I picked up something nice for you. Here. An apple? It's a fortune apple. A good luck charm. No real powers, but they're hard to find. Legend has it, they're pretty lucky. A fortune apple. Hmm. Huh. But we're the bad guys, aren't we? Maybe what we need is bad luck instead. I think the Reapers got that covered. Aw, oh, that's just mean. Well, <laughs> I appreciate the thought. Thanks, Benwick. I love apples. Just don't eat it. I couldn't eat it, even if I wanted. Wait a moment. That's right. My power to consume is a part of Enominot. If that's true, then... What is it? You want a bite? Delicious fortune apple. No way! That's a good luck charm! That it is. One to give you the courage you need to survive. Uh. So, where's our final destination? The Empyrean's throne. Sail for Port Zexon. Aye, aye, ma'am. Aye, aye, sir. Do you think that with the Nominot's power waning, people will be free again? Well, the pirates are acting like pirates again. May take longer for others, but I think it's happening. What do you think of traveling around to see for ourselves? I'd like to know what's going on out there. I'd like to meet the Elemental Empyreans, if I could. That's not a great idea. They're all in various Earth Pulse points, but where those are is a mystery. They could be very far off, and they might not view us as allies. Yep, gods live by their own rules. Our business with Enominot probably doesn't concern them. You're right. It might be wise to scope out the situation before our battle. As we go around, we might find out more about what Artorius is up to. Just don't need him, got it? <laughs> I won't, don't worry. Hey, Rokoro! I heard about a Class 4 island that sounds damn near perfect. An island that's perfect for me. Do the rivers flow with good drink? Now that you mention it. But no, different island. I'm talking about you as a swordsman. The demons there all run around the island in suits of armor and helmets and stuff, I hear. Armored demons are not unusual. Yeah, but what I heard tell was that all the exorcists who got sent there came back with their swords broken. I don't know if they've got swords, too, or if their armor is just that strong, but I reckon your sword will be able to stand up to them. Well, then. I've heard worse ideas. If you believe the tales, that island used to be a place where swordsmen and knights competed to see who was stronger. Oh, yeah. I know the island you're talking about. Craftsmen from all over gave their finest weapons and armor to the greatest of warriors and made them fight. 
It was as much a showcase for those wares as it was a contest of strength. So the demons on that island might come at us wielding fine arms and armor. I'm certainly up for checking it out. I'm curious to see how good the stuff really is. After all I've told you, you still want to go? What is wrong with you? Move it or die!
We can do this! <laughs> Oh, my God. 
So, what was it you needed to say to me alone? Where's Luffy set? He wanted to stand watch with me, but I forced him to get some rest. After all this fighting, he needs it. I owe you. That kid always tries to play the tough guy. Just like the one who named him. He's nothing like me. His motivation comes from hope. Hope. The wind is nice. Yes, the world may teem with hardship and sadness, but it's also filled with beauty. The endless ocean, the islands in the south, even the frozen tundra and the mountains that spew fire. It is. And humans make their home among all that beauty. This is the world that Luffy always yearned to travel. I finally understand what he saw when he sat looking out over the ocean. Eleanor, I have a single favor to ask of you. If anything happens to me, take care of Luffy said. What? Is something the matter? The power possessed by the Therians and Inominat is fundamentally the same. I have a theory. No, theory is too rational. A different part of me, something separate from my hatred, wants me to do something. It wants me to leave this world with hope. Wait, you don't mean... Humor me, okay? If the worst happens, I'm counting on you. I understand. You have my word. I'll look after Lafayette. While I'd love to take advantage of this momentary weakness, I can't. My oath is to obey your orders until my dying breath. <laughs> I'd almost forgotten about all that. Good thing I kicked your butt after all. Well, the suppression field is gone. And in its place, rampaging demons. We expected that. Thanks. For everything. I only did what I felt like doing. Who needs thanks for that? Let's go. We have a fight to finish with the Shepherd. You know Minot's power may have weakened, but I think that'll only cause more of a stir in the cities. Without the Abbey's exorcists, the people will have a hard time quelling demons. <sighs> Are you crying? I'm simply coming to terms with reality. 
I've learned to think for myself rather than let others do the thinking for me. It's painful and frightening, and comes with great responsibility. But this is who I am now. It's on me to own up, face my fears, and keep moving forward. You're a piece of work. But I don't mind having you around. <laughs> yes. I'm not weak like I used to be. No. You aren't. You don't have to bear the weight of the world alone, though. I understand that. I will do only what I can. You always say that, but then you end up overdoing it, right? If you push yourself to the limit and it's still not enough, there's no shame in relying on others. Brokuro, thank you so much. You realize you just thanked a demon, right? I'm aware of that. We put all our faith in you because you said you could protect us. We endured all your harsh rules and laws. So how can you tell us you can't defeat the demons because you can't control Malakim anymore? We don't understand why we've lost the ability to control our Malakim. But even without my Malak arts, I will fight to my dying breath to protect all of you. So please, calm down. Huh. I'm not listening to anything the Abbey says anymore. What are you looking at? Yeah, you there. Mean looking guy. Get over here. I think I'll pass. Thanks. Hey, Muscles! Get back here! I'm not through with you! Please stop. I understand that you're worried and upset, but now isn't the time to be fighting amongst ourselves. Please, let us all stand together. Help us fight off the madness and the demons that threaten our world. <sighs> and if that's not good enough for you, you can face me instead. Guess I'm sorry. That exorcist has some serious backbone. Aye. It's you! Uh... It's Menagerie. <laughs> I finally get a chance to see the famous Mogilu's Menagerie. I've been waiting forever to meet up with you again. Meet up with us? Why? Well, with my bad luck, I've always just missed out on seeing your splendiferous performances. So, well, I made my own Menagerie. The Abbey is a mess, and people everywhere are scared. Demons abound, and, well, everyone's so gloomy. So I thought that this is exactly the time when people need something fun and happy to lift their spirits. My troop is still in training, but we're almost ready. That's wonderful. What do you call yourselves? I wanted something with power, impact. So behold, we are the Dark Wings. Dark Wings. Huh. Hey, what gives? That's a terrible reaction. You're trying to cheer people up, right? So why dark? And dark wings only make me picture crows. Or bats, maybe. Really? When I think of the dark wings, I think comedy. Hmm. Maybe I should rethink this. Oh, I got it! We'll be the Dark Smiles! Hmm. Sounds like you've got a pretty dark sense of humor. You really want to go with such a dark-hearted name? Okay, fine. The Dark Magic. No, the Dark Circus! No, no, that's no good. Maybe you could try losing the... Hmm, good point. All right, then. How about this one? The Peddlers of Joy! We don't accept solicitations. <sighs> fine, fine. Forget you. I've made my decision. We're Darkwing Menagerie of Comedy. And that's final. He really went all out. Still, you've got Zing, kid. Here's hoping you have many dark years to come. Magikazam! Thanks! That makes us rivals now, but still, from one entertainer to another, good luck. About that magic exam of yours? You only use that spell when you couldn't care less what happens, right? What this world needs now is a good dose of apathy. Am I right? But here's hoping you have many dark years to come. That's not very nice at all, is it? Magic exam!
can't get my hands on nectar or a good drink anymore. But thanks to that, I've finally seen the light. I tried drinking lots of different things to help cope with my cravings. And I discovered that a nice cup of tea really does the trick. You can't give kids the heavy stuff. But tea? Kids? That's a good positive point of view. I'm thinking about using my life savings to open a tea shop filled with tea from all over the world. Rather than let ourselves get all worked up panicking over the demons, we'd be better off sitting down with a nice cup of relaxing tea. It'd be wonderful if you sold some tasty pies or cookies there, too. I know, right? I need to find some baked goods that go well with tea. Maybe I can find a girlfriend while I'm at it. Well, good luck with that. Thanks. Speaking of which, are you single? Sorry, I think I'll pass. <sighs> yeah, figured as much. Is it true that more demons are appearing in other towns? And that some exorcists have suddenly lost their powers? Yes, I'm afraid it is. Is... everything going to be all right? Leave her alone, son. You're bothering the exorcist. I just wanted to know how other places were doing. In every city, the frequent demon attacks have endangered lives, caused chaos, and hindered travel and trade. Farms have been hit hard, and harvests are delayed. It's certain that there will be food shortages before long. I thought as much. Well then, that settles it. Settles what? I'm going to plant an orchard in some vegetable fields. We've been lucky. We've been spared the worst of it. Also, the soil here is rich and suited for farming. I can't fight the demons, but I can help stabilize the food supply. I want to do what I can to help. That's wonderful to hear. I'm rooting for you with all my heart. You know... If you're starting a farm, you're going to need someone at your side. Would you please stop bringing that up? No. If you're serious about this, I want to do everything I can to find you a match. So on that note, how about it? He's a good boy. You don't have to marry him right away. You can take it slow. Sorry, I'm kind of married to my work. A shame. Well, what about you? The scary girl over there. Who are you calling scary? Uh, <clears throat> uh, my apologies, miss. Hey, aren't you forgetting someone? No way! Um, I mean, love, marriage, that's not important right now. Besides, I have a date with these saplings. He chose a tree over me. You're Laffy, said. Yes. I'm Videl's mom. It's the fourth and what happened to Videl? He has a. It's the terminal stage of the twelfth. It can't be. All the other kids in town avoid Videl, 
because they're scared of- I want to thank you for that, Videl- Miss Videl's mom, I know this is sudden, but if we can figure out the last ingredient, we can I don't care what it takes. That sounds like it could be really dangerous. Besides, I've already let- <clears throat> I've been prepared for this day ever since- I'm sorry, Videl. I'm so- <sighs> What's the plan, Lafayette? Do you still intend to look for- Why bother? Time's short and we're- I know it's sad, but there's nothing we can do. Is there really nothing? Don't feel guilty. You've been a good friend to him. Besides- How could you say that? Jeez, Velvet! Even I'd have- What's there to be gained from being- Sure. It might hurt now. A sad memory you'll keep tucked away for when you need it. How can you talk like that? Fidel's still alive! And what about all of his research? The Omega- I'm- I'm not- Then stop talking about it and- You- You mean it? Once you've lost him, it'll be too late. Regrets don't change into memories. They hang over you like a living nightmare. But you haven't lost your friend yet. Or your hope. Yeah. Then hold on to it as tightly as you can. Okay, I'm going to find that fourth ingredient. Let's take another look at the clues in Videl's notes. Mercio was attacked by the Lord of Calamity, and the town was lost. They say a bizarrely dressed witch chased down the townspeople and devoured any she caught. That must be the Lord of Calamity. She dressed as a cackling witch to toy and torment us humans. That monster! They say she wore a black cloak, a big hat, and rode a broomstick. She... So, a demon impersonated a witch. What happened in Mercio really got twisted. That's the grapevine for ya. Put that aside, this I'd never use a broom or wear a black cloak. It'd go against my superb fashion sense. That place really was a prison island. Worse. I heard that's where the- Where did you hear that? From an exorcist who lost his Malik and caught the demon blight. He screamed it as he was killing his exorcist buddies. It happened in the forest. I managed to hide. An exorcist turned into a demon. He must have lost himself when he lost his Malik. Look if that's true, then it means the Calamity was born right under the Abbey's No, How could they let that happen? I don't know, but... I guess I thought that if we followed the shepherd, the abbey would save us.
Just in time for the win, it circles. Your detective skills truly put mine to shame. It wouldn't have taken so much time and effort if you'd been willing to help us look. But you'll make it up to us with the pseudo- Can't you give me- Never mind. Do you have anything for us? I do mind that. But yeah, here's another letter for Aizen. Another one? I will keep this missive short as my patience with you has expired. Come to the prison island and face your judgment. I will not blame you if you run, but I will consider you a heartless coward of a brother. Oh, this sounds like a challenge to a fight. Now we're talking my language. Let's get going. Whoever this is, they're just trying to get under your skin. Why not let it go and move on? This is the third letter, not counting any that might not have reached us. I say we should go nip this in the bud. Yeah. I think so, too. If we just keep ignoring it, something might happen to Aizen's sister. Exactly. I can't allow that. I want to head to Titania and settle things. Sure, but... Me. I'm going to be honest. I think you'll be the... You just underestimate me. Just act like we're both aboard the... I already have a bad... All right. You can play the strong, forceful type, and I'll be the... No. I want to play the dumb... Are you sure you can... I'll have everyone dying from laughter the way... I don't think I like where this is going. Hi there. We're your friendly comedy duo, Dead Laughter! Magic Kazam! <laughs> huh? He just stole my line! Thank you all for coming here to see us today. Now, when you think of Rakugo, you of course think of classic characters like Hatsuan, Kumasan, Oyasan, and there's the neighborhood retiree, and Yotaro the fool who. Whoa, 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 hold it! What are you rambling on about? Does it matter? I'm just trying to get a feel for the audience. Every comedian does it. Not anymore. Speed is key nowadays. Speed! You need to be snappy and get straight to the point! Well, I object. Comedy that forgets the old classics has no future. What's old is tired. Comedy is always evolving. It has to! <laughs> you must be some new wave type then. Did you just click your tongue at me? No. You totally did! I heard that! I'm the leader here, and don't you forget it! If you respect comedy, then respect my authority! I'm sorry. All right, as long as you understand. Now, what are you thinking of doing today? I was thinking of maybe imitating a clock. T -t 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 -t. Cut that out! I can't take this anymore! You're impossible! It's been a while since I worked so hard. We really tried to practice so the jokes would land. How do you think it went? <sighs> your jokes were... okay, I suppose. But your partner was so intimidating. <sighs> I couldn't laugh. Huh? Oh, can't say I'm surprised. She had the idea to build a great bell tower and make it the symbol of our town. We'll make the tower out of stone, tall and proud. Then we'll hang the biggest bell in the land here. The wind whistling down from the mountains will carry the sound far, far away. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Yeah, it sounds great. Where are you going to quarry the stone? 
The stone we get from the mountains near here is dense and smooth. Perfect for constructing buildings with. You know your rocks. When I was deciding on where and what to farm here, I spent a lot of time researching the nearby geology. Not only does she have the knowledge, she has a great logical mind. She's been a terrific help in getting this plan off the ground. And he's got the good ideas. But he tends to leap before he looks. Since I don't get flashes of insight like he does, he's given me all sorts of ideas for improving my farm. Now we're trying to find the perfect metal for the bell. The metals and their ratios used when casting the bell will change its sound dramatically, right? That's right. We're testing all sorts of alloys, trying to find one that produces a smooth, pleasing sound. I hope you can find a sound that will soothe the hearts of those both near and far. Every time this time of year comes around, I can't help but think back on that terrible accident. Can you tell us about it? This was all quite a long time ago, but... A carriage transporting suspects to a heresy trial. I was the one who first found them. And let me tell you... Oh, right. I remember hearing about... Well, these were people who'd made a killing running dodgy shows. So their luck might have just caught... Did anybody survive? Apparently not. But I heard there was one but... Right. She was a girl they'd made a part of their show. I heard they really abused her and forced her to work for them. I hope she managed to escape, but I don't know. There were rumors that a strange spirit saved her life. As if anyone could believe a story like that. Yeah, I heard that too. But the crash happened in the deep mountainside wilderness. It's much more likely that she was eaten by a beast. I'm surprised you know so much about it. It happened when I was still young. Exactly how old are you, Magilu? As old as my tongue and a little older than my teeth. <laughs> From your reaction, I can at least tell you're not my age. Go on, take a good look. I still have a long way to go before I perfect my new drink, but I did discover something. If you steep the radish bells in barley wine, the poison is denatured, leaving behind a hearty flavor. Sounds like snake wine. Exactly. That's where I got the idea. So, can I get a taste of your new concoction? Don't tell me I have to wait 50 years for this one, too. I just started brewing it up. It should, but my intuition is telling me to let it sit for four years. In that case, we'll come back next autumn. Make sure to save enough for two. Nah, two won't be enough. I want to treat the whole crew. How much can you make by then? I've already prepped three large barrels. If I push, I could probably ready another seven. Great, make them. I'll pay for all seven, and we'll split five barrels in the autumn. What? And we'll come for the other two in four years' time. Right, Eisen? No. We'll only take one more. The last one is yours to sell as the town's specialty. Oh, thank you. I'll make sure it's delicious. Looking forward to it. Benwick told me that you can mop the floor with the water you've used for washing rice, and it'll make the wood shiny. Is that true? It is. Not only does it get the floor clean, it'll put on a layer of rice brown oil at the same time. Two birds with one stone. Wow, that's awesome! I didn't know that! Yeah, rice water has a lot of uses. The first time you use a new earthenware pot, boil rice water in it, and you'll extend its lifespan. And if you use it when you're rehydrating dried fish, it'll tenderize it and take away the fishy smell, too. And if you water plants with it, it acts as a fertilizer. It's really useful stuff. Wow, look at you, Velvet. Maybe I could see you with a family after all. You don't have to act so surprised. Still, I've never read that in any of my books before. How did you end up learning all that? I learned from Salika, who learned it from our mom. 
It's just been passed down across the family. Wow! What else did you learn from your sister growing up? Celica taught me everything our mom knew about cooking, from the basics to more advanced techniques. Speaking of which, rice water is really useful when cooking, too. If you use it to boil radishes, it'll get rid of their bitter taste. When you use it to boil bamboo shoots or burdock roots, they'll soften and take on a nice white color. My mother taught Salika that anyone who threw away rice water wasn't qualified for housework, and my sister passed it on to me, too. You know so many cool things! When I needed to make my bra... When you need to make a child eat their vegetables, it'll go over better if you can cook them tender and not so bitter. I bet you'd make a pretty good mom one day, Velvet. You really think so? Actually, since you're here, Bienfu, I have to ask. Those are discarded vegetables on your tray there, aren't they? Yeah, but they're just raw scraps left over from cooking. I was on my way to throw them out just now. What are you talking about? That's all still good stuff you can use. Look at those radish leaves. Dice them up, fry them in oil, add soy sauce, cooking wine, bonito flakes, and sesame seeds, and voila! A perfectly healthy topping for rice. And that potato skin? If you wipe the inner side on a mirror, it won't fog up. Put some salt on those lemon rinds, and you can use them to scrub a wash basin sparkling clean. Holy cow, Velvet! You're a treasure trove of knowledge! You know what's been bothering me? These pirates are way too wasteful with their food. They leave so much garbage. Uh, you might be getting a little carried away here. Yeah. I think you've made the jump from potential mom to bothersome in-law. Take a look at this. Scout ship.